Hello everyone, today we are talking about security and safety at home. This is very very crucial and important topic to discuss with, to talk about it and with example we will try to explain how you can be secure and safe at home and what are the things you should take care and be alert on these issues. I am Dr. Anjana Agarwal talking on security and safety at home. Let us understand what is security. Security means safety to life. There can be security at many places related to many things, but here we are focusing on physical and psychological or mental security at home. In these two pictures, you can easily see the child is flying the kite on other roof where there is no bar. So, there are very high risks that this child while flying the kite can easily fall and get serious injuries. In another picture, you are finding an adolescent girl who is disturbed, I do not know why, but her mental or psychological security at risk. What is physical security? We will talk one by one. Here you are seeing various images. In one images, you are seeing a cartoon who is falling down out of slip on the banana leaf. In another picture, you are seeing an accident, maybe on the road but it is giving the physical insecurity, maybe various reason and third, it is giving the impact on the health also. So, a back pain is there due to any kind of injury or risk of physical security. In the fourth picture in the down lane, you can also see that hand is cut or the finger is cut with the bleeding, but this cut may be due to the chair whose one edge is broken, maybe due to the broken glass, maybe due to the blade or the scissors which are very commonly found in every second house. But we have to be very, very careful and get these things repaired or thrown away whatever the case may be. And another safety is at risk when your food product, any kind of food product which may be visible or not visible get infected, but this also causes the physical insecurity and the definition if we talk about the physical security is the safety of the body and its processes and it has a direct bearing on health. So, it may be the case of the injuries, it can, can be the case of the pain, burn or any other infection can also be the physical insecurity or physical unsafety. Now, we are talking about more serious or dangerous things. When we are talking about the security at home, there are various things which are used at household level. We may be very careful in certain cases, but we may ignore certain important things also. So, I would like to just inform you and make aware and alert you rather. So, keep the chemicals logged. These chemicals can be your laundry from the kitchen, from the household cleaning material, anything can be there. As we have shown in the picture that there can be the kerosene lamp, there can be the some laundry material, there can be some soaps. Even the soaps, they are very easily used at home and there is a slippery material at home. So, there are high chances of falling down and getting the injury. There are bleaches. If these things are in the reach of the children, so they can be very, very harmful. So, keep the chemicals logged away from the kitchen or out of the reach from the children. Why kitchen? If by chance something goes inside the food and you consume that food, you can imagine what can happen. Another important thing because when you are buying any kind of food material, particularly the fresh material, fruits or vegetables, you have to be watched 
thoroughly before consumption because they can be loaded with the pesticide and you can will not be healthy at all. In case of the medicine, there is a expiry date on each of the medicine. We keep on checking it. If not, they can be consumed by mistake and can be very harmful to the head. So, discard all the expired medicine and there are various other things you have to be very careful. Here I am just trying to show you how you will take care. You require the help. You have to be aware, you have to be alert. In one picture we are showing you the caution on certain areas in the field at home. If something is broken you should put a board kind of thing. You must have seen in some of the external areas, some of the offices, some of the hotels except, uh, where the slippery word is there with the caution or yellow board is kept there. So, you have to be very alert. Another picture is showing the fragile word. So, when you are using any kind of the sensitive material, risky material like glass, like blades, knives, scissors. So, if they are kept there, so you have to be very careful while using it or put any kind of label there that please handle with care. If certain material which is toxic or harmful, you should put the mark also, keep in lock as I said you earlier also, do not touch. In another picture, very interestingly the water is flowing and it happens in many of the house, keep leaking the things, but people are not taking care, but they should be repaired as soon as possible to prevent any kind of injury or accident due to that flowing water. So, repairing as soon as possible is very essential or prevent the any kind of accident at home. Now, we are talking about another issue which is related to the young children, particularly when their parents are out for the job or they have to come home in the empty home where there is no one to look after them. So, what issues can be there and how to solve to certain extent and it may vary from home to home from child to child and the age of the children is very, very important. How sensitive their children are? What is their physical health? What is their mental or psychological makeup to meet these challenges? This is a challenge not only for the children, but as well as for the parents and the other elders looking after the children. One by one we will go about what are the issues when the children come home in the empty home. There is a deprivation of the love and attention what they are supposed to have it. Their basic needs like giving the food at time, changing the clothes, looking after they, they are not met with any kind of injury. They do not waste their time, they take their rest or sleep in time. So, there is no one to look after them. They may call anybody. In another case, if they do not lock their room or house what can happen and if they log and are not able to open the house what can happen. There may be chances of fear or accident when they are staying alone at home. What can be the possible solution? The child can be given the quality time after returns by the parent from the job. So, they need to have the time, enough time parents or the guardian have should give to the children particularly when children are at home alone. Keep in touch, now the phones are available to the children at home. So, the child should be trained enough or the taught enough that whenever somebody is calling them, these many things should be answered or if you can manage by some elders at home, by some maid during their absence of the parents or the guardians, siblings can take care of them and you can also ask if possible the help from the neighbors. So, these are the situation you can handle very easily. I will show you some of the other things which are dangerous. We have to be alert for the safety reasons. 
slip in the bathroom for, or any slippery floor as I you have given the example before also. There can be burn of fire in the home. So everybody have to be very alert what to do, how to do it and how to approach the things or the fire extinguisher or the fireman who can control that fire or the security measures should be enough that it should not occur. Third thing we have talked about the toxic chemical. So reaching to the poisonous chemical is very very risky as just mentioned when the children alone at home. Most of the time you keep the toxic material, laundry material just below the sink and you forget about to lock it and by curiosity by any means child go reach to this level child may not be aware enough or cannot read the label even what can happen. So you have to be provide all sort of safety particularly by locking if something is spreading around you have to be very careful whether it is okay to use or not okay to use. this I am guiding in again particularly with regard to the food because many times the small microbes can be there that the food is spoiled but immediately that cannot be assessed by looking at it but you have to be very careful particular by the elders in this very beautiful pictures that elders are giving the security to their children. So you have to be inquisitive, use the protective tools as much as possible for safety of your home and family staying there you have to have certain kind of measures in the form of tool, in the form of equipments, locking system is very very necessary. Now I will take you to the different form of the safety. May not be in all homes but in certain homes this is also a risky thing and these things I am talking about now about the alcohol, about the smoking and about the drug abuse. I will just tell you these things things may not be rightly talk about with regard to the children of the younger age. For that a they are prohibited but out of curiosity when they are alone and nobody at check they can try these things and can be very very harmful for their health for their growth and development. But in case of the adolescent under the pressure of the peer group schools outside somewhere or the other they try to experiment with this and they can be the habitual part of drinking alcohol also in adults also and if you keep such kind of atmosphere in the home you can imagine what kind of harmful effect it can lead to eventually. So drinking alcohol may lead to the health problems such as loss of senses, digestive problems, liver damage and the heart failure even and there can be lots of problem by with drinking of alcohol and they are flammable this has to be remembered with regard to the safety. So they should not be kept open that is the thing. Now we will talk about the next issue that is smoking. I told you earlier when anything comes in front of the children new or they keep watching the adults so it is their instinct that they try to imitate that they out of curiosity they try to experiment with that. So you have to be clear and very cautious that smoking is injurious to health. They should not be kept in an area where the children can reach or experiment because it damages the lungs, gums, teeth and even they can cause the lungs or mouth cancers. 
So, these are also the part of the things to be taken care of from the security and safety point of view. Now, we will talk about the drug abuse. I have written here drug abuse is an illegal activity. Why it is so important to talk about? Because this not only affect adversely the health, but it spoils the life of a person who by chance or by under pressure or any reason can indulge in. I keep on repeating with the young children and adolescent for the young children may be out of the curiosity may not know what is drug and what is not drug, may try to indulge in a different situation. But with the adolescent group, there can be out of the peer pressure, out of any kind of reason and most of the youth are going under these drug abuse, spoiling their life, that is not done. Their security is gone, their safety is gone and their life is at is. Now, we will talk about these few things here. I keep on saying your home has to be safe, not only from the rains, but inside there are you are seeing lot of things danger from the acid, warning from the electricity, caution from the slip. So, Elders has to be very sensitive, very loving. If by chance some child getting hurt, so you see the picture. This mother is putting the bandaid on the child's hand because it is injured. First, you can see the psychology of the children. They are trying to put that electric wire into the socket. So, we have to be very careful with this because they are nobody to look around these children. So, we have to be very careful. These things should not be left open so that child can do some play kind. For them, it is a play, but they do not know what can be the consequences. So, we have to protect our home from any kind of such situations. I hope you have understood the physical condition where we have to be alert, where we have to be cautious, where we, we have to be taken care and put the mark there. Now, we are talking about the psychological security. In your lesson also and I will also talk about the two words which is commonly used psychological, mental or sometime the third word emotional also. More or less they are similar related to your thinking or brain and the behavior. All these comes under this term psychological security. I will just mention you one by one. When we are focusing the word mental security, it is the thinking capacity or it can be related to any kind of security particularly with the children who are autists or some kind of problem is there which is medical, but they also need some security. They have to be guarded from any kind of effects whether it is emotional, psychological or physical. When we are using the emotional security, so we are addressing that children or any person is getting the desired level of attention, love and security. When we are talking about the psychological security, we are also taking care of the feelings of the others. We are also taking care of what the behavior of that person is, how that person is socializing, how that person is reacting in different conditions maybe when he is or she is alone or when that person is within the family or when person is with the stranger. So, that all include 
the psychological security. Here I would also like to give more of the information about the emotions. In these two pictures you can see one girl is smiling and another is dull. They are all reactions of the psychological. So, we have to be as an adult or the family members have to take care of each other the emotions. So, what I have written here it is about how you feel about yourself and the everybody around you. If you are secure enough then you will also react to others in a positive way. If any person in the family or any other organization also is not psychological secure that will give a different picture altogether. So, the socialization, relationship among family members, rituals and these rituals can be the festive or religious or it can be social like your birthday or it can be any kind of like Holi, Deepavali, Christmas, how that individual is reacting. Whether on a occasion that person is allowed to do freely the celebration that is important and other thing the bringing up of the children all things provide the psychological and mental security. If any family keeps a very hard press time on each and activity keep an eye, keep questioning every activity, then the children do not feel secure. They can react in a different way, they can be very fearful afraid, but those children are given little freedom to explore, to react, to speak, to express. They may have more self confidence or may have little more self esteem and they may find easy to interact within the family and outside the family. So, these are the certain types of the activities which are involved in bringing up the children by their parents and that gives the psychological security. Such individuals are more emotionally stable, socially mature and have positive image of self. This term may not be used in the regular language, but at back of the mind they are psychological secure. So, they will not indulge in the wrong behavior or they are ready to face all types of success and failure in life. So, this has to be very, very careful about it and important part of the security and safety at home and within the family. Another important issue is for the safety of the child and child abuse is a different term taking the children to a different level. Till now I was talking about the physical security of the children, adolescent and all family members. I was talking about the psychological, mental or emotional security at home, but in certain cases where the environment is not feasible for any kind of reasons. So, we are using the word child abuse. Child should never be abused, but unfortunately in certain homes this case is also there. So, there are three levels of child abuse. One can be physical, one can be mental or third can be sexual and children should be protected in all such cases. I will go one by one. Physical, as I just mentioned few moment ago, the child should be given enough care, safety and security. If that child is doing something wrong, 
or not as per the thought process of the elders. Because child is young, he or she may take time to learn anything, cannot always go with your thinking or expectations that please do not beat the child or punish in a way the child is physically hurt or psychologically hurt. In some houses, even I have seen it that when children are not doing their work or not behaving properly, they lock their children in the room, sometime in the clock room, sometime in the bathroom. You can think the psychology of that children if they are left alone there, there can be several types of danger. Making the child sit in a particular position for long hours. Many times I have seen that you keep the child to stand outside in the sun as a punishment. So there is a different kind of level to teach the child, train the child, punish the child, but not to the extent of this that you start beating the child. Another is mental. You are giving all types of facilities to the child. You are not giving any kind of physical hurt to the child. You are taking care. But by knowing or unknowing way, if the child is not behaving properly, you keep saying you are not good for anything, good for nothing. Or Many times you emotionally blackmail the child. If you will uh, do this, behave this, we will give you this way. So that you can imagine the consequences of such mental outcome of such kind of behavior. Or sometimes if the child is not behaving properly, you do not allow that child to meet other person. If the child is physically um, not so good, or physically challenged, you do not allow that child to meet someone. So please do not socially boycott the child. That will affect their mental security very badly. Another very critical things, sexual, that do not involve or force any forbidden sexual activities. This is a very crucial and illegal activity. So do not make them to go for such kind of things. In some of the, uh, I say homes, particularly in the poverty driven areas, the family members force them to undergo on these things. So children should be protective from all such activities or the, from the child abuse itself. I'll just summarize the whole thing. In this lesson, we are just focusing on the security and safety of the, all the family members in the home, from the physical level, from the emotional or psychological level. And if by chance any member of the family, particularly the children or the undergo with the unfavorable or forbidden activity, they should be provided the security, they should be given the proper training, proper awareness and all have to be very alert to save their life from any kind of injury, physical injury or even the emotional injury. So we all need the first aid immediately from any kind of thing. Thank you very much. I hope you have understood the lesson quite well and you will save your life and Safety is first in life.